All right, next step we're going to go is we're going to look at lineup and rotations. Most of you guys have probably figured this out, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick heads up if you haven't or if you want a little more detail. All right, so I'm just going to look at another team that's not any of our teams. Uh, we'll look at the Braves, and we're in the lineup screen, right? You start here at home. We're going to go into lineups. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all these lineups so I don't have to look at what they've already done. I can clear all lineups, clear all depth charts. That clears all my space out. Um, I really only have the right hand and the left handed versus DH because it's an all DH league. If we had no DH, we might have four lineups up there. One of the first things I can do is I can ask either the manager or the bench coach of what they think the lineup can be, and that'll go through and put in a whole lineup for me. But uh, that kind of defeats the point of what we're doing here. I want to I want to do all that stuff, so I'm going to clear all that stuff out. All right, so I'm going to go through and look at what I've got here, and so I can see Paul Molitor. I like him, and about him third. Uh, Joe Cronin, I'm going to put him down and he's going to go at fourth. Um, and as you see, as I'm putting them, it's automatically putting them at their default positions. All right. Um, and then I'm going to put Chet Lemon in, but it goes, well, Chet Lemon plays center and Molitor plays center. And that's not what I want. Well, I'm going to put Lemon in center, but I'm going to put Molitor at second base. And then I'll move him there. All right, uh, get through. Um, I don't really care about this, so I'm just going to kind of do whatever. Um, Alan Trammell, you can bat there. I don't know their team at all. Mark McGuire, yes, you probably shouldn't bat eighth, but you're going to. High pockets, Kelly. All right, so Kelly, because I've already got a first baseman and McGuire's already there, then I'm going to... It's going to put no position. I can put him at DH, and it tells me I need a left fielder, so I'm going to go there. All right, so there's my lineup, and then I sit there, and I go, all right, do I really want McGuire eighth? No, I don't. I want him fourth, and I'll let Lemon lead off, and I'll kind of do that. So it's just a simple drag and drop. So there's my lineup, and it has all my starters, but it has no backups. Now, you can go one by one here. I typically do let the computer help a little and I go generate depth charts based upon this lineup. Not the whole thing. This will change everything, but it's just I did the lineup. You tell me the depth chart and it's going to go through. Now I can also make my changes. All right. You've got him to start every 20th game. I'm just going to let him go in when he's tired. You've got Molitor being in a everyday platoon. I don't want that. So no, do that. He's got Dom DiMaggio. He's going to play a lot here, but we want Joel Youngblood every game. So we're actually going to say never. He's just there only. This is only if he gets hurt would he go in play. All right, so there's my base lineup. Now, that's my right-handed lineup. I have nothing for the left. Rather than redoing everything, I can copy the lineup and then paste it here. I can do the same thing with the depth chart. And paste it here. And then I can say, okay, but against lefties, I want Molitor to bat fifth for some reason. And uh, I want John Valentine to come in and play third base. All right, and then that'll make those adjustments just for that. So there's your lineup overview. Now, one other quick thing on lineups that you can do is you can use this seven-day lineup. Seven-day lineup is pretty good in an online league because you're doing your lineups way out as opposed to this will just go right or left and go and when you're you know when you're going you don't really get a chance to make huge changes you use seven lineups you can go here and go yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use this lineup and so i'm gonna autofill these lamps and it's gonna be based upon the lineups i hear and based upon the starting pitcher and for whatever reason this saint you know i'm really care about this colorado series but this st louis series i think uh, we're gonna win this anyway I definitely want to get some of my bench guys in here. And so on this particular day, Dom DiMaggio is going to play there. And, yeah, I'm going to bring in my backup catcher, and he's going to go there. But High Pockets Kelly's going to bat second for some reason. And sort this by position. I don't even have a backup shortstop. So uh, John Valentine's going to play shortstop. And I'm going to go ahead and do that against this. So that's a way to actually set the lineup seven days in advance. One last little special thing you can do is you can save as many custom lineups as you like. So this is my main right-handed lineup. So I can save this as R1. One of the main things to this is sometimes you'll do a lineup perfect. A couple guys will get hurt. They go out of lineup when they get hurt. When they come back, you have to redrop them in. When you save it, you can just bring that one back up. But for some reason, I've got a, you know, I do want to have special lineups. And DiMaggio is going to be in that one. And 
Launder's going to be in that one, and High Pocket's going to go there. And this is my R2 lineup. And again, I can call it whatever I want. I'm just <laughs> give it a thing. And then so now that I've named those R1 and R2 in these seven-day lineups, I can tell, tell it, hey, on this day, use that one. On that day, do that one. So there's some of the kind of advanced lineup stuff you can do. But the main thing is... Make sure you set your right-handed lineup, your left-handed lineup, your depth chart. And if you don't want to bother it at all, just go ahead and let that guy do it. All right, that's it for lineups.